Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet, and I'm here with the reading for the month of uh, March. This is just an intro to tell you which, how I'm going to do the reading this time. I have um, a collection of picture postcards, uh, which are representations of fine arts works, and um, I'll be using these alongside uh, with my... Uh, with my Vera Sibila deck that you already know. I use this a lot. And then I have the uh, Sexual Magic Tarot. And I'll be using these when I see fit. And of course, to crown the reading, I'll be using um, runes, uh, he hematite runes that are etched to crown the reading. All right, so let's go on with the show. Hi Cancer, it's your turn now for the month of March. What is in store for Cancer for the month of March? Let's see what's in store for Cancer for the month of March. What is in store for you, Cancer, for the month of March? Starting out with the Vera Sibila. Cancer for the month of March. Well, information coming in for you. Some, you're going, well, let me, before I start talking, let me open. <laughs> you're going to get a break on the work front, a break finally. And it will, it truly, I've, I've got the Mercante and the Omaggio di Preziosi, the merchant and the gifts, precious gifts right under the two decks that I didn't choose. And the outgoing card, there are three rows of five cards, and the outgoing card is the jealousy card, jealousia. And it is also, this jealousy card also means the loss of money. And when it's in this position, the last, it means that is no longer the case. You are starting, things are starting to look up for you, Cancer. Now, let me see where the focus is. The focus here is in um, on the care that you take for those around you and and I want to say in the home but it's not only the home it's it's places that you consider your home um, you know you know there's there is here I remember the readings in the past few months for you and um, and there was some kind of closure with the relationship or the acceptance of closure or something similar if I, my memory serves me. Here, you still, you know, in the back burner of your mind, you know that there is something there still in that situation. However, you're coming into your own as a person who's standing on their own two feet, thinking for themselves, everything starts moving in your direction. Everything starts turning a positive edge for you. There's harmony that's coming in, even though you don't fall prey to illusions. You know that that situation is not, cannot be salvaged, that is, you know, has taken its toll, There's all, you know, has its, had its own development. The love that you have had for that person will always be there, and you accept that. But there's something new coming in. You're starting to put your energy in other people, in other things. And you, you, you sort of are, there's a shift, there's a slow shift for you all during this period. Late February has started into March. It's, it's, I would like to say that it's a philosophical change or it's a change of perspective because what I'm seeing here is that you see the person that you were involved with that was, you know, that, that moved away from you and you know that it has ended. You see them as a person of harmony. You see them as an innocent, there, there's innocent energy there and you cannot give them blame. This is what you're, you're thinking. But also you see for yourself that you really need to try to make the most of what you're doing on the job, in an activity, how you spend your money, how you invest your money. Take care of your interests. This is, you know, it's, it's 
coming back to you. Very interesting these cards are for you. Very, very, very positive. I'm going to take now the, the uh, picture postcards, the fine arts postcards, and I'm going to check out a couple of the things here. As you can see, the light has changed in, in this room, in the studio, because um, it's late on in the day, so, uh, but I'm sure you can see here. I'm going to go to this female enemy here that I see at the end of the, okay. All right, I have three here. One is, one is the is is Chania at dusk. Chania is uh, the largest city of Crete of the Isle of Crete. This is the New Orleans streetcar, St. Charles streetcar, and this is at the piano by Robinson. Okay, now these three. What are these three telling us uh, about about the enemy? Uh, they're the male or female enemy. Um, they're telling us that that person has an agenda. That person, uh, just like you said, there's a certain innocence there. That person is in a harmony all of themselves. You have taken many years to understand that. And you're in a position of unconditional love with regard to them, which is a beautiful change. And you're feeling better about it. You're feeling better about it. But, you know, there is that uh, dusk. Dusk is a period of the day when it's announcing the end of the day. And that, that is announcing the end of that relationship. And it has been announced over time, but it's announced now for you. And what does this say? This is uh, a capolinia. This is where it starts. And it starts again, you know. It starts over your life. There's another chapter coming in. How interesting. I'm going to go now into this. At the center of the spread here, there is the doctor. I'm going to take a look at what these artwork, works of art have to say about that. Okay, now, things that you probably know. This is uh, Renoir. This is uh, the Two Sisters on the Terrace. Ballet, uh, ballet Rehearsal by Degas. And a Starry Night by Van Gogh. Okay, and if you can see, they have a certain similarity, Impressionism, and the haze, you know, the haze about the, the artwork here. The Doctor. It's more the care that you're giving is more toward yourself in a positive sense in relation to others. If I take care of myself, my health, my well-being, my mind, my mental stability, then, and that takes discipline, then I can offer my dreams and give guidance to people who are watching me look out for them. Okay, so this has this calls into play your family members and your the way you um, you interact with your family friends and your family friends extended family and loved ones. I'm going to take the runes now and cast them to crown the reading. Okay, now. Ah, I love when the nameless, faceless rune comes up. It's called Weird, the nameless, faceless rune. There's no etching there. They are all bright stave. Okay, now, um, what do these two say? This is A. Watts. A. Watts. And I. Watts. They are moving together. It's a movement forward in protection. When you finally come to a place of harmony on your own two feet now, you are protected in any endeavor that you have under your belt, in your mind, forward. Keynotes, Merck's day, sorry, Keynotes, Bright's day, 
you are open, understanding, and literally have been illuminated. You literally now finally have seen the light. Love has worked its magic on you, that love, even the love lost. And it was pre precisely that love lost that has opened your eyes more than anything else. And why am I saying that? Because I got, I, I got, <laughs> I have Hagal right over that, that tells us it has allowed you to go within and grow and the time rune, Yera, in time, in the future, you will make a mark for yourself and create the love, weird, nameless, faceless rune, create your own love life and your new life in the manner that you want. The challenge here, Cancer, is to understanding what you want, knowing that you've learned how to use that learning to crystallize an image, a vision for you to go forward. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen, Karen, sir, friends. Until we read together again, bye-bye.